Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the world node in MASH. For discussing it, I have created one small scene where I have created one tree and a surface on which I want to distribute this. Now, that is where the, the world node comes to play. So, first of all, what I will do is I'll just uh, rescale it a little and position it on the surface. Now, rescaling after, if you are using the rescale or or any sort of a, a change in in this uh, model, then I would recommend you to go to modify and freeze transform the values. I have already explained this uh, on the uh, dynamics node that how this particular information may uh, you know uh, interrupt your desired result uh, while using Mash. I have faced these number of times and that's why I have decided to make it like a checklist that whether my uh, objects are primarily freezed uh, in terms of transformation or not. What kind of uh, uh, problems we might face, please go and uh, check my video on uh, dynamic node which has previously posted. Now, so just to freeze the transformation and I'll just rename them as plane and tree okay cool so now select the tree as everything is zero 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 now go to FX and go to mash say create mash network reset apply and close now immediately you can see uh, you can you can see that's my uh, model has been uh, you know started distributing it uh, yep okay so now here uh, you can see that I have a, a world node over here which I have to add cool now immediately you can see there is a distribution happen now this is somewhere where we have to uh, decide that what kind of uh, distribution that we are going to eat so the the cluster mode is the one, the option which is going to help you out to uh, set the type of distribution. Now, initial value is a ball which you can change it to disk or maybe circle or maybe Fib uh, Fibonacci circle or maybe map based or terrestrial ecosystem. I would uh, go for map based for starting. Now, once you set a map based here you can see that mesh please connect a mesh and there is a, there is an error message you're gonna throw so for that go to cluster and you can see there's a map setting option is there and there's an option called input mesh so what you have to do is you have to select your plane and drag and drop into this lot now immediately you can see there the distribution has been made but not exactly like the way I wanted okay and also the radius is quite high radius means here the size of the object now this is something really really important now this thing will be connected or works hand in hand with the distribution node now in the distribution node which is a very mass mashes very uh, basic node we uh, uh, initially set it to linear now this we have to go to uh, uh, make it mesh too. Now this is also something which we need to connect with the mesh. So for again we have to just drag and drop the plane and in the input mesh. Now you will see that the distribution of your trees are actually making some sense and also it is following the surface. Okay now great now if you, you 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 might you might see the number of uh, points or the number of uh, points per cluster is something really less which you increase and it can increase the randomization of your distribution so both of these are something which actually you can use to increase the number of distribution of your object which you want to uh, you know scatter on on your uh, on the surface now though this is a one single model as a which I used as a uh, as an example of tree 
you can distribute them in various different ways this can be trees this can be stones this can be something else which you might want to populate on on a particular surface now this is really really interesting and also which uh, which actually you know uh, very interesting in the world node is that uh, no, the number of point num number of clusters and as well as uh, you can use one more option called uh, wait this in the yeah the terrestrial ecosystem which is really really interesting which actually help you to distribute with different different sizes also which is really uh, a easy way to distribute things now this is something which is uh, which i would uh, recommend if you are using a large amount of uh, uh, objects in a, in a sorry in a larger you are distributing a large amount of area now that's where it will create certain randomization automatically which will uh, which will help you to make it uh, a non-linear kind of a look so this is this is about the uh, the world node you can increase always increase the number of uh, points that's it for the mesh world node I hope you understand this and enjoy the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in Facebook and Twitter thank you very much